Hey guys, Style Snail here. Gorilla Tag's new update brought a new, very old map to the game, and there's quite a bit of history with this one. So here's everything you need to know about the new Alpha Caves rotating map in Gorilla Tag. Make sure you watch to the end to see what's behind the secret door, and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy. So starting off, this map was from when Gorilla Tag was in a point of development when it was not about the looks at all, it was more about gameplay. So this map will obviously not look anywhere as good as any of the new maps that we get now, but when it comes to the gameplay of the map, this is one of the best. This is a pretty much 10 out of 10 map. It's got multiple different levels around, like back rooms, the crystal room, and I don't know, like the, the attic or something up here. But when you look at it, it's all just cubes. You just have some stretched green cubes for the crystals, you got a glowing cube for the light, and you have a bunch of stretched cubes in random ways for all the different, like, walls. It took like 20 minutes for someone in my comments to fall in love with this map after being extremely disappointed that it wasn't the caves with mines. Because really, if you think about it, this map has more mines than you could ever wish for. You can consider all of this mines. Like this is all claustrophobic territory other than the crystal room, which itself is pretty claustrophobic. This is a very close together map. But let me tweet it out a little bit of history of this map saying original, original caves are back in Gorilla Tag for a bit. This is from when you had to be in the Discord downloading builds manually to your quest one and everyone was a robot. Fun to take a look back almost four years and see how much things have changed. Now he says it's the original, original caves map because this map was originally revamped into the caves with mines that everyone loved and then that map was revamped into the crystal caverns that we have now. But if you take a look at the vibe of this map, all the stuff close together, a bunch of little routes, and you come into the Crystal Caverns, you can see all a bunch of little routes kind of close together. And that's because this map was trying to bring back that original, original caves map feel, but still rip mines. And be careful on the crystal edges, some of them seem to be kind of broken, you get kind of stuck sometimes, it's kind of weird. But if you do play the map, here are a couple hiding spots people use, like right here. This could be a good one if people aren't looking too hard. And in the back rooms, there is a secret little dark room in here. Woo. But if you need to get good at this map, just play it like you're playing in non-revamped canyons. You're bouncing off all the walls, all over the place. And now let's see what's behind the secret wall. And there's nothing. It's just a tunnel. And that's just because this cave map used to connect to a different map from the old days of Gorilla Tag. That's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the Discord down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.